Hello everyone, I'm so excited to be back with my Pocket Filofax Malden video, which I'm currently using as a wallet, and I am really, really loving this as my wallet. It's really my favorite ever. Um, I was never really crazy about the Malden just because I felt it was quite a mature organizer, if that makes any sense. Uh, I hope I don't offend anyone by saying that, but what I mean is like... Um, I always like my organizers to be like fun looking, like my Kate Spade is like a very bright coral, my yellow original is, you know, obviously yellow, um, but I don't know like why the ochre, everyone always loved it so much. So I just gave in and decided to try it and I have to say I just completely understand now. It's It feels so amazing. The scratches um, on it, I love it. Uh, it just adds so much character. The leather feels so good, and it's just nice to have. Um, it's like naturally a kind of like thicker um, little organizer, but I really love it. It doesn't bother me. So let's jump right into the setup. So as you can see, I can carry three writing utensils in here, and it doesn't even make a difference. So I have a pen because it is... Um, more of a financial kind of thing than anything else so I have that to erase when I need to erase and um, so I'm gonna start with like what I dislike just because it's very minor I'm dealing with it and it's not like it's not a big deal but um, sometimes when I'm out and I'm going to purchase something and I open it to like get my debit card out which I have here well let me first show you what I have here my school ID, my Starbucks card, and my license. So sometimes when I'm opening it, they kind of slide out and I have to push them back in. And that would be fine if it happened once or twice, but it kind of happens every time I open it. Just because it's in my purse sometimes like this, like this, like that. All kinds of ways and then sometimes when I open it, it just it's not doing it now. But they do slide out. So that'll be like my only thing, but... Honestly, I can't even get mad at that because it, it wasn't made to fit the cards. Like, if it doesn't have a stitching that would secure the card or anything. Um, but, let's see. I have, like, my chameleon here, and I can show you. Something I really appreciated about this one was the, um, the vertical pockets. Like, I had the convenience of if I wanted to purchase something, I could just pull my debit card out of here, the first slot. And I didn't even have to open my organizer. So that was very comfortable. But I had to get out of my chameleon because the pockets, sorry about that, are extremely tiny. Look, as 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 opposed to the um, molden, the molden is just bigger rings and it's easier to flip through the pages because it's not so stuffed. So very quickly, I'll just show you it has this pocket this pocket which has a zipper and I love because it just secures everything that much more and then here for your cash or receipts or whatever you want to keep and the pen loop I like it I don't have anything negative to say about it that's my chameleon uh, maybe I'll use it when I don't have to carry so much in it or just find another purpose for it but um so yes it has this where I keep cash and um Here's my flyleaf. In my flyleaf, I keep on going to do, to remember, to buy list on a sticky note, as I mentioned in every video um, and in my blog post. But this is basically just I open it and it immediately is looking at me so I don't forget anything. And then I just take away the sticky note and throw it, over, throw it out when the task is complete or whatever. So that's my flyleaf. It also protects the paper and then I keep my Kate Spade gold little bows here from Lola because I love it so much it, it makes such a difference um, to the look of it and it's so cute so clipped together um, I just keep some paper I keep my year at a glance here um, my registered Filofax sheet in case I lose it someone is kind enough to return it and just yeah paper and then another little note here so I love that and then I go into my sections now I always keep like sticky notes like this is a sticky note this the little owl I always keep that there just because um, this comes with me everywhere and I don't 
you know it's a wallet so I'm not gonna have like my pouch of sticky notes and stuff sometimes and this is just easy to pull out and write a quick jot a quick note I have more here and um, here is more notes and this is actually gift tags um, I have another one here I'll just I'll show you later but um, this is from the dollar bin at Target it came with this one too and I just made it kind of like a little bookmark and I could just open up right to the page so I really love that and um, so yeah it's notes and obviously um, I have to buy notes goals financial goals um, a payday sheet I get paid bi-weekly every other Friday I mentioned that in my other video but I just thought it would make sense to have that in a financial organizer um, and then here's where you know I just take it out to write random notes um, so here I was just scratching like my yellow original Filofax notes on my post and um, other notes and then my Midori Traveler's Notebook ideas and um, I, I love it I love that that's like the point of a Filofax to me it's just so personal and I don't even keep this neat the majority of the time it's just constant notes that on my little mind that's always running this was like an email I was um, scripting and then this is like a, a to-do list um, I have just more notes um, this is like an eye exam um, notes on the prices of my contacts my glasses and um, I was kind of searching for just the best um, the best place to get everything done because everything is so expensive so um, and then I have here I just went shopping and I wrote like my recent purchases sometimes in my closet I kind of can't tell and I just like to keep um, here like you know what's the newest um, and then this is like makeup I need to work on a makeup list and other stuff I guess um, this is just more notes and financial activity as well and then paper just paper and then here I have my monthly tab uh, which is the first time I have like an actual month section and then a week section I usually have them everything combined but um, here uh, these are from Pyaric and I absolutely love the quality of the paper. I love how it looks. I love everything about it. Really recommend that paper. And the price is wonderful. So um, here is my where I'm trying to use color coding, kind of like for the first time. And it's very, very minimal. And um, that's the thing. I don't want anything that overwhelms me. So you will see that the squares are tiny. So I can't even write like, you know, pay phone like it's very small so I kind of just have a color code of red attention something unexpected that came up and I have to pay green bills light green payday uh, orange personal anything I spend on myself like if I went and got a manicure if I bought a file of facts whatever I would note it in orange um, and baby blue entertainment you know if I go out to eat if I just I don't know go to Disney World it's, it's it's fun so that that's in blue and then I have these other two colors that black is usually general general notes or something but here I have the past month clip April just passed so I'll, I'll show you here the activity but you see I kind of have like little arrows um, and instantly I'm already I'm already relating to what each color means so here I know I have a bill I think that was my phone here I have another bill because it's dark green and I know that was the gym uh, blue entertainment I don't really know be I probably did something with my loved ones um, the fun orange one I can't remember uh, light green is payday every other Friday etc the 21st something unexpected came up and that's why there's a red one there so that's like my system for here but what I like is and then here is May which I have to work on so what I like is um, oh and I have this tab just makes it so easier to get get to me um, is that if for example I 
don't remember like the light blue i don't remember what entertainment that was it's noted and then when i open up my to do which is my weekly and there's more stickies i will kind of see you see like the the arrows right so here i see okay that blue was i went to chipotle um steak and shake i that was the entertainment um etc so that's kind of like my system and i really like it it's really working and here's just my notes my to-do section is basically all of my money moving that's how i'm keeping track of it and sometimes i mean it is my little file of facts and i like it to be as personal looking as possible so i do stick things in here sometimes um and that's that i have to put in may um so yeah i i usually i'm going to keep about two months here just to add less to it less bulk so then i have okay so these last two are not labeled like as you can see it was notes monthly and then to do these aren't really labeled because i'm not 100 percent sure but in this tab, I'm keeping everything that has to do with my future apartment. And I have um, all of the things that I know I'm going to need to cover. Um, my wants for it to keep like a checklist. Stores to shop. And, excuse me, things I already have. So, and then these are just notes paper again. Um, and sticky notes and then the ruler that actually came with it I don't use it as a page marker because I don't know I just I use it as a sticky note holder and it's great for that uh, by the way I don't think if I showed this is like the other bookmark that I have that I made from the dollar bin and then I just have random paper back here with the notes and then some that I made and I have a little like my the movie card and a CVS one to you know earn points and then here this is I made this um, and I just keep like receipts from Michaels and or not receipts but usually coupons and stuff and that, this is just a little scrap that I just threw in there because just little things like that really make a difference and then my top loading envelope which is very much like the one in my yellow original um, this is a movie ticket this is just other little scraps of when I created this um, and that's it I keep kind of stickers in there and stuff like that and then here I keep my my receipts on this little card it's I got it from the dollar bin at Target it was like 10 of them they're thank you cards and I use them as a little folder for my receipts and that goes in like that and it, it it's amazing I love this pocket so much like whenever I just want to go grocery shopping or something my iPhone 5s fits exactly perfect in here and it's not even a hassle like it, it fits amazing and then I have just extra paper and extra stuff back there so I really love it and then here I keep this pen clipped here and it's so good to get in and out it adds no bulk I'm, I'm telling you it's like unbelievable it feels just so good and then in I don't really use this pen but I love how it looks with the brown so I just keep that there and this is also from the dollar section at Target and this and I love that it matches my little folder so that oh and I have these pens here just to show you that's what I keep my that's what I do my little mountains with these are by the way my favorite pens like the pilot focus there you go the pilot g207 these are amazing gel pens that dry right away and just write so neatly so there it is wow 14 minutes i'm sorry it was kind of long but a lot of people wanted to see this and it's finally here so i hope you loved it leave me any comments um if you have any questions and there will be a detailed blog post on this section so thank you for watching and have a wonderful day bye